Found it on Addicting Games. Yeah. The classic, you know, gaming websites like uh, Mini Clip and shit. Oh my god! Wow. That was over five years ago. Had a lucky 954 kill count. By this time though, the Ellie was my second sigil drop. I had gotten the Arcane sigil as my first sigil at 308. This meant I only needed the Spectral sigil for full spirit shields. Back then, Corporal Beast was probably the last thing an Iron Man account ever did, and sigils were probably the most prestigious items to go for. Fast forward to current time, I've managed to rack up over 2,000 extra corp kills over the last 5 years. With no spectral in sight though. This means we're about 2 times dry because it's like 1 in 1,400 something. No complaints man, since the Ellie was pretty damn lucky. Anyways, I have been doing corp here and there, and recently we have made some insane progress on this super time consuming boss. So I figure it's time to show you all the secret corporal beast progress now. Enjoy. That's a really good sign that it was still a good kill. At the very least. Oh my god, yo, that's actually sick. Jar of spirits. <laughs> that's actually sick, dude. What the hell? Yay, it's a unique item, guys. Can you believe that? Let me quickly pick this up. I've never gotten that before. Wow, that's actually a stupidly rare item as well. Okay, I mean, it's not the spectral, you know? We're still two and like a half times dry for it. Gonna put the Jar of Spirits into the little display case. Ooh, that's cool. Wow, so we're missing Kelfire Queen Skill Tizo. Oh god, dude, look at that. Grotesque Guardians and Thermonuclear Smoke Devil, huh? This one is such a troll. But yeah, that's cool. We got one of the best ones, though. So, When you see the Corp Beast in that stance, you already know you gonna have to eat up or telly. Otherwise, you're dead. So a little bit more background. Since the Ellie drop five years ago, I definitely slowed down my Corp grinding a lot. I probably did Corp every single day for those first 1,000 kills. But since then, I have done like 2,000 in five years, which is a modest 400 kills a year on average. I didn't forget about the Spectral Sigil, but things like raids came out and there were always new boss updates and new items to grind for, like T-Bows and Shadows. I did find a nice way to motivate myself to do Corp still, such as doing some Corp after Jagex made some improvements to the boss, or new items that might have improved the kills, like Inquisitor for better hammer specs, or simply needing some cannonballs to kill 90,000 moss chance for Briofetus Essence, you know? Just chillin'. So when I first started doing corp, the method was to suicide enough food and spec the boss down with Dragon Warhammers and Art Lights to zero defense and finally kill the boss. The method at the time with the Zamrakian Spear was probably 45 kills an hour and it was really far from being optimized. Gradually over time, I ended up getting to like 7 kills an hour after continuous improvements in the method and some small updates that improve the corp experience like for example corp's hp not completely resetting when you left the room briefly either accidentally dying or teleporting so we were capped at seven kills and change an hour for a long time until tombs of amaska came out and releasing with it the nasty osmontan's fang this weapon did not incur a damage penalty at corp like the zamrakian spear and Coupled with a high stab bonus to strength ratio and the ability to roll accuracy twice, meaning it's essentially twice as accurate, made it the perfect weapon to push the suicide method in new heights. Before the Fang released, the AFK spec down method was not that far behind the suicide method with the Zami Spear and of course being more chill. But ever since the Fang came into the picture though, I've regularly refined the suicide method to the point that I can consistently get somewhere between 9 to 10 kills an hour at the moment. Corp was really fun again, as I steamrolled through kills like never before, and after many, many kills using the Suicide Fang method, the big rewards came with it. I will cover the latest iteration of my version of this Fang Suicide method later in this video, as I know quite a few are interested in trying it out for yourself. This method will improve, actually, quite a lot. 
when desert treasure 2 is out with the metabolized prayer which will reduce your food consumption cooldown meaning way faster kills as you do eat a lot in this method oh my god dude this is amazing okay this is it 10 kills an hour coming up boys we're at 10.4 on the ninth kill right now holy shit and we do this i believe i believe looks like we got it 10.4 kills an hour wow 10 kills done in 57 minutes that's actually crazy all right well i don't think i'm gonna beat that anytime soon so good luck good luck future me no way another 10 kill per hour uh -huh. all right let's try it yo discharge yeah pause real quick okay okay let's see let's see what happens oh it did work oh my god discharge works on the core holy shit that's so sick oh core's out well and the cool thing about this ecb is that it procs the core early all right let's get the message oh that's an easy way to tell that it did okay all right let's try it the second ccb in a second here so corporal beast is super resistant to a lot of different attacks normally halving the damage and ruby bolt specials is no exception it works really really weird normally ruby bolts gain at 100 and 110 with our crossbow on something that has 500 hp but at corporal beast if you try to ruby bolt it at 500 hp you only hit like a 50 which means that you actually need a thousand HP for the Ruby Bolt to do 110. So it's really important that I actually get the second Zarya Crossbow spec at 75% when it does have more HP so I can spec harder with it. All right, there we go. Look at that. Back to back 110. Let's go. Damn, Death Charge actually comes in handy. Holy shit. Oh, and I left with three food left. Oh, Danish. Oh my god, Arcane Sigil. Bro, it is uh, not the the drop uh, that we're looking for, but it's it's uh, it's a good drop nonetheless. Let me grab that real quick. Wow, first sigil! Holy shit! In twenty three hundred kills. Damn, that looks good on the ground. I want to pick it up though, guys. Sorry, I'm not. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm not that type of dude that's gonna look at it all day long. Wow, cool. We got a slot though. That's sick. Well, we'll still going for that spectral of course but hey that's a sick slot of fill though i gotta say ah there it is hey 1800 smith xp hey it's cool we got the arcane sigil back so i turned my first arcane special into the illidanus war because it's uh next upgrade for it but for this one though i'm just gonna keep it as is i'd rather have that in my bank also, this might trigger some of you guys that I'm like leaving Corp before it actually dies, dies. But uh, the Corp death animation takes forever, and I prefer to get my kills done quick. But yeah, the collection lot pop up usually gives it away, so I know exactly when to get back ASAP. So, my Zarya crossbow has been my go to spec weapon at Corporal Beast ever since I got it from Nex. It's amazing because I can do like 200 damage in two hits, which saves a ton of time. And of course, it's way better than something like a Crystal Halberd because it's like twice as slow and usually hits nowhere near that amount. And now we have the Void Waker that I got from the Wilderness bosses. And that weapon is super good at Corporal Beast as well. I've been just filming with it, trying to see if it's worth bringing or if it's worth to just hybrid with the crossbow spec and the Void Waker spec. And the results have been great. Nice. 67. Nice. 100 damage. God, it's so crazy. You can almost always expect 100 damage from two specs. Looks like it's time. Big hit. 65 into a what? 69. Let's go. Holy shit. That's like 130 damage. Okay, here we go. Boy Waker. 157. Kill him. Oh, come on. Yeah, you could have killed him. What did I die to? I was rank one. Oh, oh, oh my god, Spectro! Go back, go back, go back. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Take a picture. Oh, we actually have all three sigils now, huh? Dang. Too bad we don't have a... Uh, we don't have the freaking uh, Ellie in the log, though. Holy shit. That would be a sick green log. Holy shit. Look at this, boys. Damn, that's crazy. Two and a half times try for the spectral, but hey, I'm not complaining, man. Honestly, let's freaking go, man. Let's freaking go. Woo! 
All right, we were just here recently to make the arcane spirit shield, dude. But this time we're making our first ever spectral spirit shield. Damn, that's crazy. I can't believe I actually got it now. So what's left? Harm orb from Nightmare and uh, I guess the Venonatus bang to make the upgraded crossbow. So that's sick. But yeah, we're going to find a Hellhound task though. For the OG viewers that play back in the day, do you guys remember the spear shields being a bit wider? I like that version a bit more, but these still look great. The Arcane, and then we got the uh, Ellie, and then 2400 KC after the Ellie, we got the Spectral. I am still down to try to get the Elijah again to fill the collection log and green log, but I'm definitely not going to do too much more Corp until some new big things come out to make the method faster such as that metabolize from the desert treasure to ancient curses prayer book i guess whatever you call it so i've completed my thorough testing of the void wicker at corporal beast and i gotta say it's a bit nicer than the zara crossbow like you could just bring the void wicker instead the whole time basically Mainly because you never miss, which is really goddamn nice. And of course, you don't get damage penalty. But yeah, the guaranteed high hits is super nice. And you don't need to bring like extra range gear for it, which is nice too. So you have more food. But yeah, they're about the same. But I think I'm going to stick to the Void Waker in the future a little more. All right. We just did. Oh my God, we did it. 10 kills an hour. Holy shit. Using Void Waker spec only. Uh, you might be asking why I have Zai Crossbow. Well, this thing is actually really good defense. It gives good magic defense and melee defense, so when I'm eating, I put it on and take less damage. And that about wraps up my Corporal Beast grind for a long time. Thanks for catching up to date with that particular grind. Also, I will be showing you guys how to kill Corp the way I do at the end of the video. We gotta use the Spectral Spirit Shoe for the first time ever. Damn, that's crazy. With the Spectral, I'm like gaining more prayer back. I'm not gonna lie. If you guys don't know anything about the Spectral Spirit Shield, I'll talk about it real quick as I use it here on this Serb task. So the Spectral Spirit Shield, like all the Spirit Shields, has pretty good defense. Especially the magic though for Spectral, it's got that fat 30 magic defense, the highest for any shield. And it has a special ability where if something were to drain your prayer, the effectiveness of that would only be half. So for example, at Cerberus, the ghost normally drains 30 per each but when you have the spectral spirit shield on the ghost only drains 15. this effect is pretty good at like diagonal kings because the spinal lips will only drain your prayer half the time with it on and other things like next i believe next does drain prayer as well so drain it half is less if you don't have something like a twisted buckler then the spectral is probably pretty decent there and yeah probably future content maybe desert treasure 2 bosses might have a boss that drains a lot of prayers so spectral has definitely a best in slot ability that no other shield has so yeah i definitely look forward to seeing what it can be used for in the future no shot no shot so we just uh get to put on the spectro and holy crap that is amazing save so much prayer dude i just did a 40 plus kill trip <laughs> 39 kill trip actually and I have leftover supplies. <laughs> this is how crazy things have gone. Yeah. I mean, I could do it before, but with the Spectral, it's so easy. Like, I don't even really have to try. So, we just get so much supplies back. So, this is what it feels like to do servers like a main account with basically the best gear possible servers. And yeah, that's a new record for me though. 54 kills an hour. That's almost one kill a minute. Crazy. Welcome to the quick guy version of the Fang Corp method. I recommend downloading the Bank Tab layout plugin on Rune Light as it lets you put all your corp related items in one tab and you can arrange them similar to mine so you can effectively flow through each kill quickly. There are a few ways to do corp with the Fang method, but I'll show you the exact one I use. I call it the Fang Suicide method. So you start off by suiciding several times to drop enough Karen bonds for about an hour as food can stay for an hour before despawning. This is my preferred method and also corp kills you quickly so you can drop food quick. This allows me to grab food on the go during the kill. For this demo, I just dropped one invent to show you one kill.
Typically, six inventory is enough for an hour for me, but it will vary depending on your skills and gear, like whether or not you're using a Blood Fury. You might need a bit more as you learn. Parent bonds are essential as it has a shorter cooldown than other food. Do not use other types of hard food except for combo eating. So you only need to bring a few sharks, anglers, or similar to combo. But you should be eating like Karen Bonds 99% of the time. Once your food strat is sorted, it is time to spec the boss. The biggest difference between this method and the other AFK methods is that you only need to land 2-3 Warhammer specs with the Fang methods. Ideally go for 3, but if you're on the 4 teleport, I just settle for 2 Warhammers. You don't want to spend too long doing the specking part. I recommend using Games Necklace and the Desert Amulet 4 for resetting specs and suiciding food as it is a lot quicker than using the Concave overall. Once that part is done, you can gear for the Corp kill. I recommend imbue Harding before each kill as it helps a bit. The setup is a combination of good magic defense and good melee offense. Try your best to copy my gear setup, but things like CZB, Void Waker, Torvahelm, and Ellie aren't necessary but helps if you have them. A cheaper spec weapon is Claws or just Fang Specking. Honestly, don't even bring Chally. It's too inaccurate. A cheaper Helm alternative is Nate's on Face Guard. Cheap alternative shield is DFS or Spectral Shield. A cheap armor is Armadale, but I really recommend Missouri nowadays. Definitely bring Thralls for this fight, and the Suffering Ring is really crucial for the actual recoil damage and tankiness. A cannon is recommended. Set it up during your suicide portion at the spot shown in the video. The cannon is nice, extra DPS. And you can kill the core without wasting your time killing it yourself, saving time. You want to stand approximately 3 tiles away from the cannon. And when the core is about to touch you, you can just click fire cannon and you'll run towards the cannon and the cannon will kill the core for you. Just killing the core normally is okay too, as the cannon method has a lot of different scenarios where court moves to weird spots. That takes practice to master. Clicking augury helps a bit, but it's not necessary. Switching to tank gear, gear while eating helps a bit too, but not necessary. But the fight is simple, just spam fang hits, occasionally spec with your spec weapon, summon the thralls, safe up when below 60 to 80 HP, pick up Karen bonds if needed, and bam, corp is dead. One important thing to know is that sometimes corp does move around a lot, sometimes it'll go under your food. Easy way to fix that is simply to go to the exit, go outside, and wait for it to get close to the entrance again. After each kill, just bank using crafting cape ideally. Take out your spec setup again and repeat the process for an hour. And if you want to do another hour, just suicide enough food for about an hour and start all over again. It'll take a lot of practice to reach the 9 to 10 kills an hour range, so don't expect it right away, but it should be a fun challenge to improve. To wrap up this video, I figure I would participate in something short, sweet, nostalgic, and epic. The 10 year event for Old School RuneScape. Can you believe that? Old School's been out for 10 years. Even my little corpse side adventure was only present for half of old school's existence. But anyways, there's a nice mini quest to commemorate the occasion, featuring some of the oldest characters in RuneScape, and it involves making a cake. But the rewards are nice cosmetic outfits and accessories with various morphs. Definitely digging the jazz slippers, probably my favorite. But so much has happened in these 10 years as a community, as a player, and as an individual. But RuneScape's definitely been a huge positive force and I'll be looking forward to another 10 years of going through the motions with this granny ass game and the lovely people that play it. Not many people know about this, honestly. But yeah, this is under the basement of the party room and you get to see all the different updates that's happened to Oscar RuneScape in the past 10 years. Right, you got Ohm for Race 3, even Winter Todd's in here. Huh. Also Island, I guess, Zug, Inferno, right? Bunch of bosses. So you got Grotesque Guardians, Vorkath, Hydra. Oh, even the quest too. Even quest stuff is in there. Real Fighter, oh my God. Real Fighter, bad memories. Yeah, it's just all these other things. And there's more. There's even a downstairs area. Not sure if this was always here, but I'm sure they added more stuff along the way. But yeah, look at that. I guess this is more, even more recent stuff, yep. Kingdom Divided, that was like, uh, what, two years ago? A year ago? Oh, there it is, Tombs of a Mascot here. Phantom Muspa. Yeah, so downstairs is even more recent. But, of course, this is gonna keep going down and down as the game progresses, so... There's definitely gonna be more cool stuff to see. But yeah, go down there yourself, you know, and spend some time to just 
have a more in-depth look for sure but it's been a crazy 10 years of old school so many updates guys until next time